Okay, so hi you guys. I am Tiffany. I am the owner, creator of Tiffany's Party Shop, you guys. And I will be doing recipes, you guys, for my page. So, first recipe. This is my first time on here. But let me tell you a little bit about me before I start this recipe, you guys. So, I started off on Facebook. I ended up quitting Facebook. I came back to Facebook, you guys. Nope, I went over to YouTube. I stayed over on YouTube a long time, you guys. And now I'm back at Facebook. And it all started because I wanted to sell a marketplace. So, in order to sell a marketplace, marketplace you have to have a Facebook page. So, I ended up starting putting up a Facebook page, you guys, and my family and every of my friends started asking for my referral request. So I just ended up taking pe <laughs> taking people back, you guys. I ended up taking people back, um, adding them, not back, adding them back on. Um, my new Facebook page, you guys. But, I ended up starting Tiffany's Party Shop all over again on Facebook because I had taken it down. Um, I don't know, at the time, I just wasn't feeling Facebook. So, I moved over to YouTube, you guys. Which, I do have a YouTube channel. And it's Tiffany's Party Shop. You will see the same logo that you see on my Party Shop page, you guys. But I'm over on YouTube and I'm back on Facebook again, you guys. But I will be doing recipe videos, you guys, and this is my first time. So, look, I almost forgot. You know what? And then I'm so used to saying my YouTube, how I, I do my intro over on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, let me tell you guys. So, over on YouTube... I start my intro off like this. This is, this is your girl Tiffany back at you again with another video. So I'm trying not. I was trying not to do that over on this you on this page, you guys. But it is what it is. <laughs> I'm Tiffany, you guys. So first time recipe, first upload, you guys are these. Well, I'm going to do Junior Mint Cookies, you guys. And you'll, like, if you follow me on fa on YouTube, you'll probably see, you probably have seen the short over there already. Because I do YouTube shorts a lot. But, um, I also do reels over on Facebook. So, you'll, if you see my reel, you guys, and you like what you saw on my reels, um... Don't be afraid to message me or say anything or ask me, am I going to do a recipe video and upload it to Facebook, you guys, because I will. But we're going to start off with these Junior Mint Cookies, and you're going to need, this is all the stuff you're going to need to um, do these cookies. So I'm going to try to go fast because I don't want to drag this video along. Um, so I went out. And I bought four boxes of Junior Mints. And I got these from, you can get them from your Dollar Generals, Dollar Trees, whatever you have in your state. Um, the grocery store, but they're movie boxes. They don't look like movie boxes, but they are movie boxes. So I have gotten four of these. So you're going to need these for sure. This is the big part of the recipe, you guys. Let me put these to the side. You're going to need a small bowl. You're going to need a mix, mixing bowl. You're going to need a measuring cup. And I got a plastic one. I mean, I have a, a glass one and a plastic one, you guys. But I grabbed my, my plastic one. But you're going to need a measuring cup, a whisk that to the side 
you're going to need your measuring cups and you're going to be using your one fourth cup and see you guys i look before you before we get off into the recipe i might go off of the recipe and start telling you guys about something else but you just gotta hang on you gotta go with the flow with me <laughs> but i bought these cute little mixing i mean not mixing spoons um measuring cups and measuring spoons from this little place in my city this little place buys amazon pallets and um I guess this was on the palette. But look, you guys. There, see their color? Color. Oh, and the, the um, spoons also. See? But I thought they were cute, so I bought them. But um, I'm pretty sure you can get them off of Amazon. Because that's where they came from, you guys. But let's jump back. See, I told you. Let's jump back to the recipe. You're going to need your one-fourth cup measuring cup. You're going to need your half teaspoon uh, measuring spoon. You are going to need... Um, let me see what I want to show you guys. Uh, I got the egg in my hand. So one large egg, you guys. I'm going to put this egg off to the side. You're going to need cocoa. And right now, I got some off-brand stuff, you guys. So, I went and got some off-brand cocoa, unsweetened cocoa. You're going to need baking soda. And I got mine in this little container. You're going to need salt. You're going to need flour. You're going to need brown sugar. I don't have to show you guys that. And you're going to need white sugar, you guys. And I have on my table. This is another thing I want to tell you guys. Oh, oh, I forgot the butter, you guys. You're going to need a cup of real butter, you guys. Unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. So you're gonna need a cup, so two sticks. Okay, but I wanted to show you guys this also. I had to find a way to keep gloves by me. So I thought about this. I was in the store and I saw that same store I got these um, measuring spoons and cups from. I saw this iridescent Kleenex box so I brought it home I was gonna put Kleenex in it but I thought about it I said maybe I can put my gloves in here because when I do videos I'm always looking for my gloves you guys when I take off a pair I need the next pair so I said I'm gonna stuff these with gloves and that's what I did see you guys so I just Take them up out of here and keep it moving. <laughs> keep it moving. But, you guys, those were all the ingredients um, we're going to need to make these cookies. Um, so, I'll be back to show you guys the next step. Okay, you guys. So, I have gotten all my dry ingredients in this bowl right here. And I'm going to recap to you what was supposed to go in this bowl. So, I have one and one-fourth cup of flour. It's in there. I have one-fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa in there. See, you guys? And then I have one-half teaspoon of salt. And then one-half teaspoon of baking soda, you guys. I have my plastic mine well mine is plastic whisk you guys i'm just gonna take it and i'm gonna whisk this around you guys and i'm gonna do this for three minutes
So you guys, you know what? While I'm whisking this around, I'm gonna tell you what I like to do. When I'm, um, when I find a recipe, or I create, well, when I find a recipe, I create my own, you guys. I might take that recipe and tweak it. That's what I like to do if it does not fit what I'm trying to do. And that's basically what I did with this recipe, you guys. I'm tweaking it into how I want. I think it should be done. So, you guys, that's part of what Tiffany Party Shop does. <laughs> And you want to make sure that you whisk this real good, you guys. Because you want all this stuff combined really good, or else you're going to be able to taste one thing in here. You won't be able to taste the salt. You won't be able to taste any of that. I mean, well, possibly, yeah. If you don't whisk it good, you could just taste all the salt. But I don't know about you when I eat a cookie. I can I can taste a homemade cookie. I can taste um if it was done right. So I will see you guys at the next step. I'm not going to uh, make you guys stay here with me the whole three minutes and whisk this around, you guys. So, I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, you guys. So, here is the next step. We are going to cream the um, butter and sugar sugars together. So, in my mixing bowl, I have two sticks of the unsalted butter and remember you guys two sticks equals one stick because they're half you guys so I have um, a half cup of brown sugar in here and then I have a half cup of white sugar in here so I am going to cream these together and I'm gonna cream it I'm gonna uh, mix them with my hand mixer until this gets fluffy you guys so, I'm going to show you. Let's see if I can speed up. Here. tripod right now but 
this is how it's supposed to look. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the one large egg. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla, you guys. And I'm going to continue mixing it. mixed it all in you guys and now what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to grab my um, my dry ingredients you guys, and I'm going to take this dry ingredients and I'm going to add a little at a time in this wet ingredient See you guys, I got a little in there. I'm just gonna take my hand mixer. keep doing this until all the mixture is in there. continue to keep doing this to my mixture is um, finished you guys and I will cut you back on and we'll go to the next step okay you guys so here is the the mix and after I got finished mixing this you guys I added a half cup of milk chocolate chips to this mix you can add semi um, chocolate chips Whatever is your choice, whatever you want to add. Um, but I added milk chocolate to mine. Remember, you guys, a half cup. And I folded all my chocolate chips in. I don't know if you guys can see them. You probably can't see them. Nope, I folded them in real good, you guys. But what I'm going to do now is I like using my tablespoon to measure out my cookies so i am going to take my tablespoon just dip it in here i mean you guys can do yours however you want to do them however whatever measurement you want to make um but i use my tablespoon see I don't even even it out I just leave it just like this like with the heap on there and this right here this cookie dough right here you can put 
make yours in the refrigerator if you would like. I don't put mine in the refrigerator. I just take it wet like this, and it's a little soft, but you still can roll it. Take it, and I put it down on my, see, my cookie sheet. And I just take the palm of my hand and just start flattening it out. You don't have to flatten it out, you guys, but I always flatten mine out. Um, get a little bigger cookie. So, I'm going to flatten this one out. You see, I did another one, too. So, I'm just going to layer this um, baking sheet. Um, mine holds six. Well, six, yeah. I'm just going to layer my baking sheet, you guys. And, first, I'm going to take these gloves off so I can turn my camera off, you guys. Because I'm going to bake these, put these in the oven, um, 10 to 14 minutes, you guys. And I forgot to tell you guys, you need to preheat your oven to 350. Um, so, I'm going to pop these in the oven. And when I take them back out, I will show you the next step to create these Junior Mint cookies. Okay, you guys, I am back with the last step you guys finally but these are my cookies i got them out the oven they're hot well warm you guys so i got them out the oven about maybe two minutes ago three minutes ago but now what i have is the junior mints i took them out the package and see i cut some in half and i left some whole Ooh. So what I'm just going to do is, I'm going to back this back so you guys can see. I'm just going to take some whole ones and I'm going to drop them, place them in there, and then I can take some half ones and kind of stick them together. And I'm just going to place them. And you can place however many you want on your cookie. But see? See how I have it on there? But I'm going to put a couple more halves on there. Turn that one around. So see like that, you guys? And I'm just going to continue doing them before this cookie cools down. Let me show you guys. That's how you're going to create your junior mint cookies, you guys. So, I'm probably going to, um, you guys probably can check out my short to see how these cookies turned out when I get them all ready for the camera, you guys. But that is a recipe to the junior mint co cookies, you guys. And I hope you guys stay tuned and tune in to my, the rep, the rest. What can I say? More of my recipe videos, you guys. All right. Bye. Hello, my partiers. It is your girl, Tiffany. Back at you again with another video.